I mean, it's difficult to put them down to one challenge, but I suppose if I had to look at the main challenge, it's poverty and marginalisation. We know that there, there are so many people who live without the resources to buy or grow the food they need. And so to actually include them in go global growth, to have inclusive global growth that includes marginalised, particularly smallholder farmers, and ensure that they have access to nutrition. So those are the main macro issues, I think. There's, there's obviously there's huge issues around climate change, food insecurity, conflict. But I think at the heart of it, it's marginalisation, economic mar marginalisation and poverty. Yes, it's achievable, I'm sure. I mean, the, the progress we've seen since I started in 85, you know, we've seen huge progress in, in increasing um, people's access to food and nutrition. But I think one of the, the, the main ways that we can create real change is to push towards a more demand-driven approach. You know, historically, Development and aid has been very supply driven. You know, you've had people in New York or London, Dublin, creating solutions and supplying them. You know, let, oh, let's help the poor. You know, this idea we've got to help the poor. Actually, what we need, we need to create demand for good nutrition and access for good nutrition. And we have to do it through inclusive engagement. We have to, we, it can't be an aid driven agenda. It has to be an aid and business driven agenda. We have to engage ethical business to provide attractive nutrition made out of ingredients that are, are grown in a way that empowers local smallholder farmers so that we can actually create people with access to good nutrition and they know what good nutrition is and they demand good nutrition. So instead of buying empty calories, sweet snacks, crisps, they actually want and have access to good nutrition that they can they can feed their children